have you, I've just been reading a bunch of papers on the GHK CU and mm-hmm. that is I, I mean, it seems like a incredible, incredible peptide with no, I haven't been able to find any side effects on it. And it, I theorize that it could be super beneficial stacking with, or, or like combining it with something else. They go together in a synergistic way. When we pair the, the two that I have the most experience with is going to be BPC-157 and thymus and beta-4. The GHK copper I'll use selectively in instances where we might not have access to the BPC-157 or the thymus and beta-4 just based on uh, whether it's out of stock, whether patients in a particular area that we can't get it to them, or government regulations around these peptides, which has been kind of shifting and changing over the last year or so but uh but yeah so the bpc 157 and the thymus and beta 4 uh, we i like those the most because they're going to help in the the initial healing response from the prp so if you actually look back at almost all of the research done on bpc 157 the arginate salt from the croatian group they are acute injuries that they are then using the BPC on, right? They cut the sciatic uh, nerve of the rat and they look at what happens to the healing when they give them BPC and when they don't, or they injure the Achilles tendon, or they they do these other things of these acute injuries. There's not a lot of chronic injury animal models out there that I'm aware of, uh, and definitely no research where they're like, oh, this animal was suffering for three years with, you know, with knee pain, and then we gave them BPC. So I actually think BPC works the absolute best in an acute scenario. So whether that's an acute injury or right after an injection, right? Because again, we're re-stimulating a new response. So that's one of the reasons why we pair BPC so much with the, with the, the PRP injections.